Hey everyone, grab your cups. It's time for the On Your Now Show. Lady Yo, let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is time for the On Your Now Show. I am your host, Tracy Berry McGee, also known as Divine T. <laughs> and I'm your co-host, Yolanda Langford. And yes, you can still call me Lady Yo. That's right, y'all, <laughs> Lady Yo. I gotta ask you, girl, what's in your cup? What are you sipping on? What is it full of? Oh, you know what? I am sipping on some green tea today. I just needed it to be a little smooth opening to the day. So green tea it is. All right. What now. you sipping on? Hey, I'm going <laughs> to grab my cup because y'all know it hasn't changed. I'm sipping on black coffee, no sugar, no cream. It keeps me woke. Oh, it keeps me woke. Keeps you woke. Yes. Yeah, speaking of woke, y'all, I have a new acronym for woke for the show. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm sitting back. Hold on. Let me sit back. What's okay. the new acronym? All right. If I'm drinking my coffee or we're drinking our tea, we need to also know that our cups need to be full or empty. Or if we're pouring it to our owners, our cup should be filled with a cup of woke. Woke means wellness, opportunity, knowledge, and empowerment. How was that for entertainment? Oh, I love it, Tracy. I love it. You are sipping off the saucer. And that's in the words of our Mimi. Yes. Sipping off the saucer. We're sipping off <laughs> yes, the saucer. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Speaking of sipping off the saucer, what or who are our strong friends that we are checking on today? We are checking on the dads, biological dads, uh, bonus dads. That's and right. um, any dad figures, let me tell you what. I love our military dads. Yes. Every time I see one of those videos where the military father is coming home and they haven't seen their kids, I cry. Yes, I do too. Oh I my do goodness. Too. I do too. Speaking of military dads, we have one coming on the show today. Who is it? <laughs> our Vibrant Vibe guest of the day, we have Rennell Parker. He is a U.S. Navy veteran. He's a dad. He's a husband. He's so much more. In all transparency, he's a good friend of mine. Okay. You know, and we love our strong friends. Yes, we and do. And we got to make sure we check on him. And we're going to be checking on him soon. Yes, but you know what? <laughs> I want you to make sure that um, we take time for ourselves first. So, yes, we do have Rennell coming on. It's the kickoff of our week. He's our dad of the week. But first, we need to fill up our cups. So we got to prepare for our cup of therapy. Yes, indeed. And it's sponsored by SSM, y'all. We'll be right back. Hello, St. Louis. It's Cedric the Entertainer here, back in my beloved hometown with my sister, Sharita. We are so excited to continue our support of SSM Health Foundation St. Louis. We must continue our efforts to raise funds so that we can assure that all the amazing, generous, and loving women in our lives have access to the health care that they deserve. Visit give to SSMHealth.org slash women's health to learn more. Life is all about the journey. Life's curves, hitting the road fast or slow. Celebrations, anniversaries, and birthdays. Everything in life is about moving forward. Whatever direction you choose to go, go far, go in style. New or used, go with Frazier. I'm Rennell Parker Sr., founder of the Parker Group in St. Louis, Missouri. Keep watching On Your Now Show on the Ah! TV Network. So now it is time for our On Your Now Cup of Therapy. 
When I tell you that these wellness moments mean everything to us, like every single time that we do it, we literally are taking time for ourselves. And it's important that you all take time for yourself as well. My own your now affirmation word for today is essential. 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 You know, I remember when we first started the show, when we were talking about the pandemic. Yes. Um, it was essential for us to take time for ourselves. And we've taken that on. It's something that we do every single day. And you know, I love that we share it with our owners. It's important to take time for yourself. Yes, yes. So let's get ready for our self-care stretch of the day. It's Changes by Lady Bree. For those of us at home, make sure that you realize the value of self-care because it's so important. So I just want you to stretch your arms out, take some time to take some deep breaths. You're gonna cross your arms and you're gonna bring them in close to your heart. And we're gonna listen to our heartbeat. Can you feel it? Yes, indeed. Our hearts are essential. Our hearts are essential. Yes. I want you to think about your daily affirmation of words. It means everything. Be intentional. Repeat it to yourself. Take a deep breath in. And release. I felt that. Yes. Deep breath in. Release. And then what do we do, Lady A? Hug yourself, honey. Yes, Hug you yourself. Do first before you hug anyone else. Before you hug anyone else. A great way to start the day. Now release, how do you feel? Essential. Essential, that's right. <laughs> All right, now that we're feeling essential and necessary, what is our simple dish of the week? I'm so excited to share this with our owners because it is a Father's Day week. I want to do a dish that my dad loves, salmon croquettes. Oh, yes! <laughs> They're so those. delicious. Let me tell you, people always think, oh my, it must be a lot you have to do. Very simple. Now, you know, I use fresh salmon, okay. so you have to bake that first. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can use canned if that's something that you desire. But you just Enjoy. need to get the trinity onion, bell pepper, and celery. And you have to have something that binds it together. Like one egg. 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 And if you want to be a little, have it a little moist, just a little dollop of mayo. Mix it all a together. Dollop. A dollop. <laughs> and then you just cover it with a light bread crumb and uh, cook it in a cast iron skillet. Now that's key, my daddy said that's key to get that crispy edge. That so crispy in edge. honor of my dad, I am saying go out and make some salmon croquettes. Hey, you know what, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try that. You know the Andy seasoning, yes. they have the um, the batter and everything. You can that use that, good. you can use that. I'm gonna do it. You can do it. I can do it. <laughs> And I'll think about your dad, yes. you know, that's really great. Yes. Well, you all have your simple dish, but now it's time for our dad of the week. When we return, get ready for Rennell Parker, and he's sponsored by Pure Catering STL. It's not about exact measurements or the perfect dice when it comes to cooking. Good food is about feeling, inspired food is about comfort, and pure food is about feeding the soul. You have to have soul to feed people right, so pull up a chair, take a taste, and let Pure Catering do the cooking. Visit Pure Catering Cafe STL at the Missouri Historical Society today. This is sirloin. Tastes like filet mignon. Best beef in town. Who taught you how to grill it like this? I got a guy. I got a guy, too. We've all got a guy. Well, my guy is kind of, yeah, and he's got that. <laughs> wow. Same guy. Same guy. Top quality meat. I love that guy. And great advice. Who's next? Another reason we'll see you at Schnucks. Welcome to the Black Women's Expo. Chicago's very own Black Women's Expo is starting the Legacy Tour. First stop, Detroit. Just in time for Juneteenth and Father's Day weekend. Big entertainment, beauty, hair, fashion, and a chance to see some of your favorite celebrities. Saturday, June 18th and the 19th at Huntington Place, formerly Cobo Hall. The Legacy continues at the Black Women's Expo. Tickets are on sale now. For more information, visit BeWeNext.com. As promised, we have the Rennell Parker, U.S. Navy veteran, father, dad, son, 
husband, brother, uncle, nephew, and friend. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, all those titles, you had to be on the show today. You had to be on the show today. With all those titles, there has to be something in your cup that keeps you going. What's in your cup? So in my cup this morning, we have black coffee. Okay, uh, black coffee from the Black Coffee Company. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. you know, it's important that we educate our children and our community, so black coffee represents that well. Yes, okay. they do. Yes, yes they it do. does. Yes, it does. <laughs> We're excited that you said yes to us. We're kicking off our Father's Day week. You are our dad of the week. Look, oh, dad of the year, all the yes. things that you do as a mentor. I want to talk about you. Coach Rennell, Coach <laughs> Rennell, professional problem solver, life coach, leadership trainer, speaker. Most importantly, we know how you feel about your family, um, your most important role as a husband and a father, dad of two. Speak up, speak out, shout if you have to. <laughs> Tell us what does that mean to you? Um, I think it, it really means about how, as a father, I not only commit to the act of providing and protecting, but also teaching and educating what that's supposed to look like by acting on my thoughts and make sure that my behaviors um, match what I'm thinking and match what I'm teaching. I must be the light that I seek. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're in for a treat, y'all. Yes, we, we in are, for a treat. Sure. Yes, <laughs> indeed. So you're a coach and a mentor. What does mentorship mean to you? So um, it's about, so I'm gonna take it this way. I, I interviewed Pastor um, F. James Clark of Shalom Church yes. mm -hmm. a few years ago. I was doing a project called Legacy. Mm -hmm. And I asked, well, what does legacy mean to him? And he said, in the beginning of the word are three letters, L-E-G, leg. Okay. Which a leg is something you stand on to get to where you're going. Speak. So he said, I, my prayer, or his prayer, is that his life will be a leg for someone else to stand on to get to where they're going based off the lessons that he's learned so that someone else won't have to go through what he's gone through. Yes. Or, and if they do, they'll know how to get through it. So as a mentor, I take on that same philosophy is that, again, I, I'll be the light that I seek. You know, I speak to every young man, every young lady, I say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, as that is what I'm teaching. So yes. it's important that that's what I give. Right, right. I love that, I love it. You know, I know that one of the things that, that you've been doing, because you've been doing this work for a long time, I, we met years ago um, with his writing. Okay. Um, especially pouring into our youth and our children. You even have a pledge. You know, we do the pledge with the girls, you have a pledge <laughs> with the young men. Talk to us about writing, how essential it is, essential it is for our young men to write. Because as boys, mm -hmm. we grow with a deficiency to effectively and efficiently communicate. Think back to kindergarten, we're taught big boys don't cry. Yes, we're trying yes. to outrun, out hustle, mm -hmm. out think, out grind, out play the mm -hmm. next boy. Right. So we don't talk about our, we're not encouraged to express how we feel or what we think. Where the young ladies, on the other hand, they're already passing notes, playing house, right? Yes. right? All those things <laughs> that in, involve communication. Mm -hmm. So for me, I learned to communicate through my writing. Right. And so it's very important that if they can't verbally express it, there has to be a way for them to get that out. Absolutely. You know, so, Absolutely. you know, the, I represent, or the ink is representation of the tears from the tear ducts. So if you can't cry physically through your face, yes. cry through your fingers. That Say that one more time. Yes. If you can't cry. If you can't cry through the tear ducts in your face, then you cry through your, cry through your fingers with the inks on the page. I love get that. I love get that. Out. Speaking of crying, you know, uh, as dads, um, I once saw someone on YouTube say the the feelings that dads have they're not able to express them often because um, they're supposed to be strong they're supposed to be holding everything up right. give a word to future dads give a word to future dads about emotions and life and right. dad <laughs> things yes. well my father was a happy crier oh my brothers and i are happy criers yeah. and you will find no stronger men so it is the confidence in knowing who we are that makes us strong and not caring, so to speak, what the rest of the world around us says about who we are, because you can't tell me who I am. That's right. So That's right. Um, I have no problem <laughs> with uh, shedding the tear. I remember when the kids were in elementary school, they're getting the right. positive behavior awards. I'm recording and I'm crying. <laughs> crying I love it. I love crying it. like a man, right? Crying like a man. I like that. That's, just, that's that. a t-shirt. Crying <laughs> like a man. I Absolutely. love that. I love that. Um, when I think about your family, because I see you all doing the work with your daughter and your son and, 
and, and following in their own footsteps and doing their own thing. I think that's something that you and Chastity really push. Um, but I think that it's something about when you talk about your dad. I remember, you know, we're a wellness show. I lost my dad. This is my first year being without my dad. But taking care of self in the midst of grief. Talk to us about that. The thing about grief is everything in life is compiled or compri compiled of grief. Yes. It could be the loss of a loved one. It could be the loss of a job. It could be losing a video game, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and I think the thing about it is being open to being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, and at times, my dad was. There, there were times where he wasn't. Um, but there are so many things that we learned from him and my mom both um, that we borrowed from both pieces. Mm -hmm. right? But as we evolved and we grew, um, we were able to also pour into them. And I think that is, is really the essence of, of, of what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you're talking all good dad stuff. I mean, how long have you been a dad? So I've been a dad now for 19 years and... <laughs> 19 years and eight days. 19 years and eight days. Well, someone just had a birthday then, huh? Yeah, my son just turned 19. Shout him out. RJ. Renell Parker Jr., that's right. <laughs> RJ, a.k.a. The Sequel. Oh, The that's Sequel. Right. I like yeah. that. I like that. Oh, I like sequel. that. So, you know, as a dad, do you think that dads should um, take a lot of time with the kids? Talk to us about how much time you pour into your kids. Well, first of all, time belongs to the supreme architect of heaven and earth. Yes. Time is not mine to control, to manage, to dictate, or manipulate. So I must take advantage of the opportunities that time affords me. Mm -hmm. And because once time is lost, for example, if an assignment, an assignment is due at 9 a.m., whether I complete that assignment or not, 9 a.m. is going to come and 9 a.m. is going to go. That's so right. if I miss the opportunity, especially as our children grow and they, and they age and mature, and they will soon spend more time with their peers and other activities than they will with myself. So the time or the opportunities that I am blessed and granted to have, I must take advantage of and not let fly by. Uh, you know, being in the military, um, we stayed in this one particular apartment in Norfolk, Virginia mm -hmm. for a year, 365 days. I may have slept there 40 nights. So that time of growth and development that is so essential, you know, I miss that. Right. So now, you know, I, my friends are want to go on trips and hang out. Um, but there are times when, no, if they have practice or games, that's where I'm going. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. So let's talk about that. You are a girl dad. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You know, we talk about the importance of having um, male figures and um, in, in a young man's life. But when it comes to being a girl dad, that's everything. Speak to us about it. There's nothing like it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that shout uh, out. Yeah, that's shout that's, out that smile. Yeah, that's, that's Kelsey Ryan Parker, AKA Daddy's Princess. Oh. Uh, and one of the things I teach them both is that you are not just your name, yes. but you are the son and the daughter of a king, of a God. Something more powerful than anything we'll ever be able to imagine here in this world. So be proud of who you are and the essence of which you carry. So as I'm talking with my daughter, realizing also that there's a lot of this, right? That's but right. I realized I poured so much into her and RJ both, I realized there are times where I'm talking to myself. Ooh, you Ooh. know, what's your mama always say? You gonna have a daughter that acts just, just like, like you. you. And I do. <laughs> and how old is she now? She's 16. Oh, sweet, yes, sweet, sweet, sweet 16. 16. <laughs> Jackson, y'all got y'all hands and, and it's so amazing. I love it. Um, I'm actually studying for my real estate license. And she wants to go into real estate. Um, also, she is considering going into psychology. I'm actually planning on um, obtaining my master's in psychology. So I told her, if that is your major, then I will hold off and we'll go to school together. Oh, right. just bring it on. Let's oh, do it. Oh, he just gave Let's me chills. It. You know, Tracy, people say, oh, you have your hands full. And I used to tell them, I'd rather that have my hands full than my arms empty. I know so, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. Um, I want to talk about your books because you have something for everyone. And, and I know that your son has followed in your footsteps as a speaker. You guys are just doing the work. Talk to us about, I want to start with I Can Do It, because this right here, I Can Do It. Talk to us about I Can Do It. So I Can Do It um, is our children's book. And uh, based on my daughter, um, as children grow and evolve, they become independent because we teach them to become independent. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, as mommies and daddies, as they grow 
and they start to become independent, we want them to become less independent, <sighs> right? Um, also, there's a certain innocence that we have as children in believing that we can do all things. Mm -hmm. I had a young man, I spoke at the Hazelwood Early Childhood Center, he wanted to be a dinosaur. So the teachers and kids, everyone laughed, and the teachers said, well, what do you really want to be? I said, no, stop, teacher. Okay. Son, what kind of dinosaur do you want to be? Yes. So he said, I want to be a T-Rex. So I want you to go home and learn everything you can do about a T-Rex. Said, because what we may have is an archaeologist. There That's you go. Right. right. There you go. So That's right. I actually take the children's book to conferences that I may do leadership training because there are a lot of adults in corporate America and healthcare, so IT, and all these other industries that forget the innocence of believing in the greatness that they have within. Mm. So we take that book to teach to the potential of the child within them to continue to learn, to continue to grow, and continue to prosper. That's huge. That is huge. That, that, is. That, that is huge. That's what it's all you about. Can it. You That's can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Where can everybody find your books? So they can find my books on Amazon. Uh, they can Google or uh, type in Rennell Parker and the books will come up there. The children's book is also available at I See Me Bookstore right. in New City, Missouri. <laughs> yes. um, right. Black owned children's bookstore. Um, lovely people, um, lovely selection of books. Um, and not just because mine is there, <laughs> uh, but no, really one of my favorite places. Yeah. Okay. You know, I remember when you did, uh, you worked with Books for Bros and doing the mentoring yes. program. Yes. How was that? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> So Sydney and Kelson went to elementary school, uh, elementary and middle school together. Um, Sydney's come over after school. They were um, co-student council presidents. Okay. Um, yes. So I've seen he and his mom grow yes. tremendously, and all the things that she was doing. They have um, a new baby also. Into, I know. <laughs> yes, indeed. Shout out to Winnie. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, when they asked me to be involved, um, it was very humbled, and I was honored um, because anytime I can pour and to other more specifically young black men, um, I too am empowered. Yes, yes indeed. And, and yes. I always say when we see the young people, Tracy, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all we're gonna right. We're going to be all right. That's On nice. the show, we ask everyone their affirmation word. We want to know your affirmation word. Can I do two? Yes, yes sir. You, I, I, you know what? I'm a middle child. <laughs> Me too. I don't never follow the rules. Me too. <laughs> um, but I would say my two words are purpose and intention. Talk to us about it. I believe that every person that is given life, because we don't have choices other than, well, the only choices that we don't have are the light in our eyes and the air that flows through our lungs. Mm -hmm. Everything else in life is a choice. Yes, so is. we are intentional with the choices we make, then we will become closer each breath to walking in purpose, on purpose, for a purpose according to what our purpose is. Right. So to be purposeful and intentional in every decision that we make and to conquer the breath of every moment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. You understand the assignment. That's it. God has given him an assignment. Yes. He understands it. Thankful. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You. Okay, y'all. <laughs> we just want to thank Coach Rennell, our dad of the week, for stopping by. And, you know, we are, our cups are totally filled. Oh, mine is overflowing. Yes. I'm sipping off the yes. saucer, baby. Sipping off the yes. saucer. Sipping yes. off the saucer. When we return, get ready for our own Your Now flow. back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Nice.
And now it is time for our Own Your Now flow. We would like to thank Renell Parker for owning his now with us. Lady O, I told you. You did, you did. I mean, he had some words of wisdom. His conviction is everything. Yes, yes. yes. He takes being a dad very serious. Yes, indeed. Doesn't he? <laughs> yes. I got to ask you, um, what is your affirmation word for today? After all the information he gave us and the way he talked about his family, my word is family. And your family doesn't necessarily have to be your biological family, right. but the people in your life that support you, love for you, and help you find your way, that's family. That's it, that's family. You know what, we're family. Yes, we are. We're family. Thankful for we it. We wanna just make sure that we shout out our hubby bears, yes. our fiancés. Shout out to Nathaniel McGee. Shout out to, up the week. Shout out to <laughs> Ozzy Smith. Shout out to Ozzy Smith. Happy Father's Day, happy Father's Day. Yes, y'all, we're gonna make sure that throughout the week you will see different fathers that we will show on our show, but we wanna make sure that you all understand that that's what this flow is all about. It is essential that you make sure that you celebrate the fathers in your life. Be intentional about making sure that you pick up the phone and tell them that you are thankful that they are walking in their purpose. And at the end of the day, understand, even if he's not your father biologically, he can be your father in their heart because that's what family is all the way from the start. So until next time, keep your cups full. Go out and create some vibrant vibes. Keep sipping peace, love, and positivity. And remember, tomorrow is in promise, so own your, your now. now. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at seizetheawkward.org.